Hi everyone! In this video we're going to be unboxing and setting up a complete CNC cage kit from Cavi. If you're considering upgrading your piggy's cage then we'll see how easy or not Cavi cages are to build and we'll see what their 2x4 setup looks like, complete with their new style of grids, a loft and a ramp, a cage stand and liner and storage boxes. So in case you don't know, CNC cages are a popular type of DIY cage for guinea pigs and rabbits. And CNC stands for cubes and coroplast, which is a type of corrugated plastic also known as corex. Going back, I had a few CNC cages in my time and they were and still are one of the best ways that you can maximize your guinea pig space. Traditionally, however, it could be a real struggle to source the right materials and the cages could be tricky to put together and modify, especially because you had to measure everything yourself and use a Stanley knife to score the plastic with. I know I got through lots of corrects when I kept messing up scoring the plastic and sticking corners together with packing tape wasn't exactly the neatest or prettiest way of doing things. Don't even get me onto building cage lofts and ramps nightmare. So if you hear DIY or CNC and you are immediately daunted by the idea of finding the materials, measuring and constructing your own guinea pig palace, then the good news is that complete CNC cage kits deal with all of those worries for us. And if you saw my introduction video to DIY and CNC cages, then you might remember that I mentioned you can buy pre-made kits from a company called Cabby. So then Cabby actually got in touch with me and asked if I would like to try one of their cages and knowing that they create these kits to help people give their guinea pigs more living space I'm just really excited to share this video with you. So let's get started with the unboxing! So the cage arrived in these big cardboard boxes and it probably took less than a week for delivery which is not bad at all. I knew it was Cavi because their little piggy logo is on the packing tape so I'm gonna go ahead now open the boxes and see what we've got. It's like Christmas! <laughs> Everything is out and we've already got a sneak peek of some super funky fleece going on over there <laughs> but we'll come to that box later on. The cage was packaged really well so we've got the grids in these cardboard pieces to keep them nice and secure and then the corex was nice and safe in the middle of the box. Ooh, so this is what the grids look like and I'm actually really pleased they have these ones in a different style to the traditional open grids. They're actually shaped at the corners as well so I'm thinking that must make it easier to assemble them. If you've had or are already have a CNC cage you'll know that the grids fit together with these little connectors and these cavi ones are smaller and neater than the older chunkier ones which is also quite nice. And then we have the corex so I can see here I have three pieces one for the base one for the ramp and one for the loft. The two base pieces have these corners which are specially cut to make it easy just to slot the pieces together and then they've put this in for instructions which takes you to download a manual online and cavi also have their own YouTube channel which has a ton of videos showing the construction of the cages that show you again exactly what you need to do to set them up. Right so time to set up the cage and I'm going to keep an eye on the time so I can see how long this actually takes me. So I'm starting off with a stand here and then putting the base on following the instructions which are super easy. Stands didn't really used to be a feature of CNC cages but as more and more people use them people started to build them with a stand which then really took off and it's great because it's easier to see and interact with with your piggies but also you have all this space underneath for storage. So then the grids for the cage sides go around the edge and have connectors holding them in place at the top and bottom. You might have already noticed but with these grids you might have to be a bit careful just to make sure that they're all the same way round. That way it just looks that little bit neater. And then I'm just going to go around and put all the connectors on the top to secure everything in place. I've never had a CNC cage with a stand before. I was always a bit worried maybe they'd be super wobbly but all the grids and the connectors work really well together and this thing is really sturdy. And next I want to put the main base of the corex in under my loft layer and just looking at the instructions again this looks so simple so I'm going to be folding the edges in that are already pre-scored and slotting the hooks into the corex base. That was super quick that took me including moving the camera around about three and a half minutes. I'm also going to go ahead and do the loft corex while I'm here and yep the ramp just slots in super easily. 
time to put the corex in the cage and then we can build the loft it's really coming together now the loft looks a little more complex there's some cable ties to use here but basically all you're doing is attaching the loft halfway up the grid at the end at first i was a bit confused where the cable ties went exactly but they do show it really clear in the videos on their youtube channel and then the loft and the ramp just slot in and then you can also attach these door grids to make a little lid for your loft section this looks so awesome. I've even got a bit of cage envy, especially for the loft, because obviously my piggies don't have a loft in their DIY cage. And you're also thinking, well, what are you doing with this cage? It's obvious I'm not keeping it. And all I'll say for now is if you want to know where this cage might end up, then make sure you're following us on our social media. And there'll also be some posts on YouTube to tell you all about it. Right, so I've just checked the time and that took me about an hour and 20 minutes. I'm pretty pleased with that, considering I was filming and there's a lot of camera repositioning and zooming and all of that mad stuff. Um, it probably would take a normal person, not, I'm not normal, <laughs> it would take a normal person maybe an hour or less to do. And I am genuinely impressed with the cage. But with having the stand, I thought maybe it would be a bit wobbly and it's really not, it's really sturdy and the same for the loft as well. Some things you might have noticed is number one, the corex doesn't come up that high. And I think Cavi actually have a good idea with this because like they say, it means your guinea pigs can look out and have more of a view on the world, which is nice. Yes, some hay or bedding might be kicked out of the cage. But then again, if you're having fleece and using the liners, this isn't much of a problem. And I'll cover in a bit where I would place things in this cage to make it a really good layout too. Also, you can tell when putting it together that the corex has been kept carefully cut and any sharp edges are rounded off. That's something I would always worry about with my DIY cages. It seemed impossible to get rid of the unsafe sharp edges, but they've definitely done that here. Another thing I like about the cage is the top level and the ramp. And you'll know I banged on about this in my video about uh, pre-made cages from pet shops, that a lot of the ramps are simply too steep for guinea pigs. But obviously these cages have been designed solely with guinea pigs in mind. So the ramps are nice and shallow and piggies will find them easy to use. And I also like how the top level is still fairly low, but under here I would probably see it as a prime spot for toileting, so perhaps this is where you can have your hay and your bedding and create more of a litter tray area. And finally, what I've been waiting for is the liner. And oh my gosh <laughs> that is really soft they're so cuddly it's a very different style to what i've got for my piggies this is a kind of nice flat fleece this side is obviously super cozy you can use both which i think is awesome then we also have another one which is specially made for the loft level and the ramp as well so no more trying to stick bits of carpet to ramps if you know what i'm talking about comment below carpet ramps <laughs> Note to self, make sure the loft is the right way around. I think we can fix it fairly easily though. So although you can put the loft and the ramp at either side of the cage, bear in mind the liner. So let's pop this in now. I just can't get over how super snug and cozy this liner looks. <laughs> but I think if I were a guinea pig, I would happily sleep anywhere. So obviously I've got a zebra print, but there are lots of other liners to choose from. And Cavi now even do matching storage boxes. So they are just like those Ikea kind of style boxes. And obviously it's matching the liner, which is pretty cool you can use the boxes the other way round for a more plain look as well if you don't always want the pattern showing. And now I'm gonna set up my case just as I would for my own piggies. So because we've got a really vibrant liner like this, I've gone with more kind of subdued natural feel for the items in here. Another way of doing this cage would of course be turning the liner the other way, then you've got a nice simple white base to work with, which might go with more of your kind of fun, cozy items and stuff like that. I really wanted to see what it looked like all together with the vibrant liner and I think it looks great. But I also really want to see the piggy's reaction to the super soft, fluffy side of the liner. So they're here. <laughs> you all look quite apprehensive. I've actually just put some hay up on the top level, so it's kind of there to lure them up and see whether I can get them to use the ramp straight away. Little sausage. Ooh. 
and you can immediately see how it would be the perfect size for two piggies. Of course, I can't leave out some of my girls, so I'm gonna put all four in. Obviously, it's gonna look a bit crowded because four piggies need a bigger cage, but if you're starting out, two piggies is a great number and this cage is plenty big enough. It's very soft and cosy, isn't it? Oh, we're liking the new woven Heidi. I know, your bowl was empty, wasn't it? You'll probably want to eat some of them. Lyra is loving that snug fleece. How are you, darling? Is that super soft? Yeah, it's nice under there, isn't it? In case you're new to my channel, this is Phoebe, Roxy, Willow back there, Lyra being antisocial down there. Oh, we've got who's falling out down there? <laughs> She's done it herself, basically. Oh, oh, is that cool? They look so cute under that ramp. I think the cage is getting a thumbs up from the piggies too. And I'm so pleased that these cages are as good as I thought they'd be. If you're looking for a cage upgrade, then I definitely recommend them. Having everything made to measure like this and easy to assemble just makes the whole process so much less daunting. You don't have to worry about wasting materials and you can be safe in the knowledge that everything is completely safe for piggies. So if you want to check out Cavi's full range and read a bit more about them, because they've got some really important values as a company, then please go and check out the link to their website in the description below. There's also a really useful blog and some great free care resources for piggies on there too. And maybe if you already knew about Cavi and you're here from Instagram, then a big hello from us. We hope you enjoyed the video and meeting the piggies. If you want to stay up to date with us, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you everyone so much for watching and do let us know what you think of the cage in the comments too. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! Thank you.